Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is review number 52. It's going to be another double review. This time it's going to be um, two Irish whiskies that were provided as samples from the Summit and Whiskey Festival. I've not tried these whiskies because when you see the size of the sample bottles, you'll understand why. So if you did the Whiskey Festival, you probably understand my um, utter disbelief at the sample sizes. So there we go. These are each 10 mil, but they are Lambe whiskey. We've got Lambe single malt Irish whiskey and Lambe small batch blend Irish whiskey. So we're going to start with the single malt. Single malt, it retails for an average of £56.90, um, £56 pence. It is... Um, Unchill filtered. Can't find anything about the colour, but I would assume it's natural colour if it's not chill filtered. Um, but I can't find anything about that. And it has a ABV of 40%, which gives it a value score of 84.97. Quite an expensive single malt that drags that value score down um, in the scheme of things, given it is a non age statement. So um, the value score, if it's a non-age statement, you're always going to find those scores are going to be the lower 80s. Um, and the only things that kind of remedy it is a high ABV or um, non-chill filtration. So this one was very close to dropping into the um, high 70s. So a 10 mil sample, I'm not going to be able to save any of this because that's all going to go in there to give me any kind of an experience as to what's going on with this whiskey. A little bit about it, it is um, bourbon cask matured. And then it is finished in cognac casks. And at the very final stages, it is um, diluted down, I suspect, because they don't say exactly the words, but they say it's finished with water from the Lambe well. Now, Lambe is an island off the east coast of Ireland. It's a private island um, by appointment. I believe Lambe is owned by um, a member of the Bearings family, if memory serves. Um, it's triple distilled, as I say, bourbon cask matured, then cognac cask finished. I've never heard of Lambe before <coughs> um, the Summit and Festival came up, and when I saw the list of the tastings, I um, did a little research in each of them. I did a bit of research in Lambe. And uh, it was then that uh, I discovered a little bit about them. They only really do three whiskies. They do the two that I'm reviewing today, the small, small batch and the single malt. And they also do a um, cast strength version of the small batch blend. So that's Lambe on the nose. Fruity, vanilla, spice. The fruits, berries and citrus is the main um, kind of fruits that I'm getting off that one. I would say it's a bit creamy. There's a bit of... There's some aniseed, it's a bit aniseed. Yeah, I'd say it was aniseed. Something similar to that. No. Banana. Aniseeds and banana. That's what I'm getting on the nose. That's, an, that's actually a very nice nose. But what's it taste like? There you go. Creamy, fruity, spicy. A little bit of baby sick. A bit of tea, black tea. Red berries is the fruit. 
little bit of citrus tiny bit of bitterness bit of orc bit of barley For a £56.29 £56, pence bottle, it's, um, I would expect more. I would expect a lot more from that. Just put a bit of water in to get rid of the flavours for the next one. I wouldn't buy a bottle, not at that price. There's nothing wrong with it. But there's nothing that jumps out at making it a memorable whiskey. It's not one that I would feel if I had, I'd want to pull out often because it's not mem memorable and it's expensive and I wouldn't want to just start having sips of a whiskey that I wasn't going to enjoy. I'd be fearful that I'd be leaving it for a bit more of an occasion to pull out and it would be a bit of a letdown if that makes sense for the price you pay. It's not bad, but there's nothing amazing that kind of jumps out at me and says that that's a, a 56 pound bottle. When I think about what I can buy for 56 pounds, I could buy a couple of really good bottles for that straight away. Um, so it's a bit of a disappointment. So with a value scope of 84.97, it doesn't even meet the value score, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to give this an 83 as an overall. There's nothing particularly bad about the flavor. It just doesn't live up to the price, unfortunately, that day. It's a shame. So on to the next one, which is the small small batch blend, Irish whiskey. So turn over my sheet. This one has a lower, a, um, lower retail price of 35 pound 63. That's more like it. If the single malt was priced at that, you'd be looking at a slightly different proposition. So 50, um, 35.63, again, we don't have an age statement for it. It is non-chill filtered, which is really good for a 40% ABV. So they do need to be commended on that one. And they do state that on the label. However, I don't know anything about the color, but looking at it, it's pale. I would say it's not colored, but I don't know. Again, it's 40% ABV. Uh, this one gets a slightly more respectable score uh, for its value of 87.55 for a value score. This one is again triple distilled, again it is bourbon cask matured and again it is cognac finished. The difference between the small batch blend and the single malt is it's this is an Irish whiskey so it is a blend of malt and grain and for that price differential of um, 21 pounds pretty much 21 pound difference if that's the difference between the amount of um, malt that isn't going in here and grin that is this has to be a better proposition really simply for the price but I don't know we're about to find out whether or not it is actually a better a better whiskey so the uh, single malt comes in a red label bottle the small batch blend comes in a blue labelled bottle on the nose. And this has also got that uh, Lambay well water in at the finish. So on the nose, this is very, very similar. This is more, slightly more sweet. It's got more of a white wine nose to it. More vanilla, more spice. But it's got fruits in it still it hasn't got that kind of banana -y, um aniseed smell to it either yeah it's more of a citrus this is more of a, a, a bourbon influence this one It's sweeter. It's more vanilla. It's more pepper. The fruits. Ooh. Mm, that's actually quite. 
pleasant that. Peaches, vanilla, strawberries, citrus, with that lemon bit of orange, a little bit of barley, it's drying, coconut, get coconut with this one. The tasting note of the single malt had coconut on it, but I never picked any coconut, but I'm picking up coconut on this. Weird. Mm. This one is one I would buy. The small batch I would buy, it is. That coconut that I'm getting. What I'm thinking right now is, did I get the two bottles mixed up and am I actually drinking the single malt? But only the review of the video will tell us that. But I don't think so. Um, this is rather nice, this one. And I think it's the grain that's adding that extra... Uh, flavour profile it's still young but it's pleasant I would say that was an 86 that one that's uh, that is I would buy I would buy that if I was to go on let's say master of malt and peruse through their flash sales and see that was one of their flash sales uh, reduce from 36 uh, 35 63 to um, maybe 29 pound I'll buy it if I've got the money in the bank I'll buy it at, 30, at uh, 29 pounds that is an enjoyable whiskey and that's one that I'll be more than happy to share with my friends and family definitely yeah that's enjoyable um so lambe single malt not not so good um in my opinion the um small batch blend yeah good one nice one Cheers, and thank you to the Summit and uh, Whiskey Festival for providing two, uh, two samples. I'd like to have had a bit more, so maybe that's in for the future, but maybe it was Lambe that was able to only supply more amounts to get them on board, who knows, but thank you. Later.